The idea of the Paris Climate Accord was that every country, rich and poor, would set goals to curb carbon emissions in an effort to avert the worst effects of climate change. Our climate explainer-in-chief, Brad Plumer, has written a Q&A on the Paris Accord so you can understand it better. Our article from when the agreement was reached in 2015 is a good overview of the agreement and what's at stake. Need some convincing on global warming? Well, 2016 broke the record for hottest year. As did 2015. As did 2014. The president has called climate change a hoax and he pledged during the campaign to cancel the Paris deal. Few expected him to announce that the United States would remain committed to the pact. Mr. Trump is now making clear his belief that joint global action on climate change is antagonistic to his America First message and could be harmful to the economy. Environmental advocates dispute the argument that the Paris Accord would cost jobs. Under the terms of the agreement, the United States cannot exit until November 4, 2020 the day after the next presidential election. That could make climate change a future campaign issue. Our White House reporter Michael D. Shear is tracking the latest developments in our lead story. Mr. Trump had said Wednesday that he was hearing from a lot of people both ways on whether to stay or leave. These were the people trying to sway him. While Americans make up just over 4% of the world's population, they are responsible for almost a third of the excess carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. China emits more carbon into the atmosphere today, but as our climate reporter Justin Gillis explains, the United States has a long head start on burning coal, oil and natural gas. Some said it was a moral imperative for the United States to stay in the Paris Pact. But since Mr. Trump has decided to leave, other countries especially the poorer ones could consider doing the same. That could reverse years of hard-won progress on climate change. The United States will join Nicaragua and Syria as the only countries that are not a part of the Paris Agreement. China said Thursday that it was committed to the Paris goals, no matter what Mr. Trump did. Americans themselves overwhelmingly believe that global warming is happening and that carbon emissions should be scaled back. But there's a catch. The red line shows what will happen to carbon emissions without the Paris Agreement, up, up, up. The United States' contribution to the emissions goal was substantial. But other countries have pledged to continue their programs with or without American participation. This graphic by Jasmine Seeley and Adam Pierce walks through the possibilities. For the ultimate visual experience, be sure to see our recent Antarctica series. And if you are wondering what you can do about climate change on your own, we have a guide. Continue reading the main story.